Um, just one question on Ukraine, Mr. Shillette. Uh, if Vladimir Putin called you today and said, listen, if you'll just tell me that Ukraine will never be allowed in NATO, we'll move back to our 2021 borders, all fighting would stop. What would you say? I'd say, President Putin, it's not your decision where Ukraine is going to be allied with. Okay. Uh, what do you think was the biggest misstep in the Afghanistan withdrawal? In your thoughts, after looking at it? Senator, I think there are so many lessons that we have to learn as a country uh, by the 20-year engagement we had in Afghanistan. 2,400 troops lost, 20,000 injured, $2 trillion spent. It's why I applaud what Congress did uh, with the support of this committee and the leadership of this committee to create the Afghan War Commission. And if confirmed, I pledge to you that I will do whatever I can to support the work of that commission because it's critically important that we learn the lessons and apply the lessons of that 20-year engagement in Afghanistan. So you, you, do you think we made some mistakes in the withdrawal? In your I think, Senator, that there, of course, were mistakes made a, over that 20-year period. Absolutely. I've seen some statements that you've made about uh, our immigration and, and our border. Uh, you know, two years ago, you can talk to pretty much any law enforcement officer in Alabama. They'd never heard of fentanyl, okay? Uh, we had less than 100 uh, overdoses a year. Now fentanyl is number one in our state, and we, we'll, we will lose over 1,000 people this year. What, what do we tell, you know, the families that, that kids are dying because of fentanyl that we won't do anything at the border? What, what do we tell them? Senator, I really appreciate you asking this question because shining a light on the scourge that is fentanyl and the damage it, it is doing in so many communities across this country is absolutely critical. I can say that the State Department, Secretary Blinken, has tried to make this into a global issue. Fentanyl is the number one killer of Americans 18 to 49. And it's a problem that we cannot solve alone because of the elaborate supply chain that creates fentanyl uh, that ends up in U.S. communities. So just last week in New York, Secretary Blinken hosted a, 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 a meeting of foreign ministers to talk about ways that countries can work together to try to fight the scourge of fentanyl. Because it's not just the U.S. alone that is facing this challenge. It's, it's also synthetic opioids are ravaging the Middle East and Asia as well. So we have absolutely got to get at this problem. One of the things that I will do, if confirmed, at DOD is to understand DOD's role and see what more DOD can do to get at this problem. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that... Uh that we have everything in order from the DOD. When in May, our administration sent 1,500 troops to the border. In August, we pulled out 1,100. And a few days ago, we sent 800 back. You know, uh, if confirmed, I hope we get a little bit more consistency down there because we're, I don't know if you've been down there. It's, it's a complete mess. And we need to save our kids. Uh, let's get to my topic. Uh, you, know, you know what I've got. I've got a hold on admirals and generals through abortion. I'm pro-life. Um, you will be part of solving this problem if confirmed, and it is a problem. I want to get this over with as much as anybody. How do we work this out? Senator, thanks for the question. From where I sit... I know you've thought about this. So I, <laughs> from where I sit, uh, look, we need our team on the field. Uh, given the challenges that we face in the world, from the pacing threat of China to, to the threat of Russia... We need all the team on the field. We can't fight with one hand behind our back, is, is my view. And, and the, the job I have been nominated for uh, as a senior civilian at the Defense Department, I'm going to want my military teammates uh, in their jobs as well. So it's, it's, it's my humble view that this issue gets resolved as soon as possible. Yeah. Well, there's nobody more military up here than me, but uh, you know, I just hope we can work this out. The problem that I have, and I represent people in Alabama, and you know, the, uh, abortion is a very controversial subject and it should be voted on by the people. Uh, my people in the state of Alabama won't say so about what happens to their tax dollars with abortion. And, and that's, that's the situation that I'm in. I represent the people of my state, and uh, hopefully we can work this out. But I just wanted to get your thoughts, because you'll be right in the thick of this as we go along uh, you know, in the next few months. Hopefully it's not months. Hopefully it's just days. But uh, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.
Thank you, Senator Tocqueville. Uh, Senator Kelly, please. Thank you, Mr.